attention this time. The dunes, I see the dunes are right over there. And I'm going to go up into the actual dune area and actually do some research and get some readings. So yeah. I'm not sure which area is the, is the burial ground area. I think it's probably over back over there somewhere with the camping ground, the actual camping ground, RV or whatever. I'm actually bringing my whole case this time. I don't like to have everything in my barrage of, you know, equipment that I can use. Like it's rained out here recently. I started out a little earlier this time. The last time was kind of hot. So, yeah. I'm going to switch it into infrared for a little bit. I'd carry, I'd turn on my, on my sensors, but like I said, my hands are kind of full. <laughs> Sorry about that. Spare battery, so <laughs> not playing that game. If I can catch anything out here. It's not a bad morning overall. I'm over this one area. Apparently I've overshot the actual dunes. I was over by them when I first came in. I'm at the top of the hill over here. I'm not getting anything as far as the readings going. It's interesting. Where I came from is right next to the dunes. That's where all the disturbances were. 
So I'm going to head back down that way. <laughs> That's quite a climb. <laughs> I must have climbed at least four stories. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I'm going to head back down toward that way, the way I came. I can see the trail. I'll just triangulate and just go up that way. I've got a bird's eye view of where everything's at. So you want to get down there? Yeah, I've been walking around trying to get readings. I haven't gotten anything. There's some of the dunes, but there's a barbed wire fence. I'm like, I have to go around to the other side. I'm trying to come in where I don't attract attention. So I don't want to attract the wrong attention, given all the stories I've heard about this place and, you know, people involved in the public office coming in here. You know what I'm saying? The government office, but anyway. Yeah, I'm just going to keep going around, man. Get down back down by my car and maybe try a different the trail I was on last time. Oh, I guess I didn't try. <laughs> well, I'm almost back to my car because I remember this is the trail that I took the last time. And um, I'm not really getting anything on my meter at this point. I'm probably going to I'm probably going to go all the way around to like the RV site. But I'm like, it's going to kind of look kind of. You know, hmm, what's this person doing without an RV? You know? <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to kind of keep it low key and just like take my K2 with me. Maybe my EDI. Well, I'm going to take my EDI because it makes noise. This doesn't. Or I can take it and this and kind of just carry one in one hand and one in the other. I got deep pockets, so, you know. <laughs> but yeah, when I get back to my car, I'll just kind of put the rest of it in the car. <laughs> Guess what? I found the dunes. <laughs> Came around to the other side. No, well, my car's locked. Nope, not locked. Come on, ding dong, get it together. <laughs> and I parked at an incline, so I'm like, yeah. <laughs> oh boy, get stuck. <laughs> Gravity worked for me. I'm walk over here. Let's see what's up. Check this mess out. I got my EDI on, on me, so so far I haven't picked anything up. So I'm like, okay. Pretty sandy getting anything so far. I see other people have walked through here, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> not getting anything so far, not with my EDI. I my K2 will give me any kind of a reading. So, I lay down, sometimes it does it when I lay it on the ground. Should change the battery, but okay. getting anything so far out here. So I'm like, okay. Well, the last time I had Jesus prayed over this place, so the power of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, his name never failed. So not so much as a blip. It's pretty good. Not getting anything on it so far. So I'm actually actual one of the dune areas, so put my K2 back in my pocket, go with the ADI, and walk a little further up in here. See where other people have walked apparently. <laughs> Yep, lots of footprints. Do walk through here, yes. See, I'm officially, I'm out here. 
See all the sand around me? I'm out here. Not getting anything on my EDI. Some like something odd to happen. So far, nothing's happening. I'm not afraid of it doing anything going on. I'm not getting anything. I figured I would, but I'm not, so. I didn't catch anything, so I'm like, yeah. Park ranger, I guess. Checking things out. Yeah, it's pretty up here. I don't stick around too long. You know, it's just, I didn't get anything really, so I'm like, all right. Well, I'm gonna call it a wrap. <laughs> I'm like, eh. Hey gang, yeah, man. Just now getting back to Oklahoma. I decided to take the long way around from south of Beavers to Booker, Texas, on south toward uh, Pampa. Cut off by Wheeler and started trying to work my way back east. I'll tell you, man, Texas has got some beautiful scenery, but they, they've got some ridiculously long stretches of road between towns. I'm like, man, when's the next town? This is the next town. Where, where is it? There's no indication of anything until you come to the town and you're like, okay, what's going on, man? Lots of farm roads. <laughs> like, I'm on one right now. I just came out of Texas. I'm crossing over the Roger Mills County, so yeah, I'm getting there. Yep. <laughs> I'm add that little tidbit. <laughs> oh, man. See, uh, you know what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought I'd stop this little uh, random rest stop. Like, some of you might know where it's at. It's like south, southeast of a town called Raiden. Raiden, Oklahoma, just, just like a few miles east of the Oklahoma Texas line. Well, I'm talking about remote, man. <laughs> It almost looks like a state park. Wow, let's see on that. You can see the, another wind farm over there. It's pretty cool, man. They set this up. Kind of makes me think think of the uh, like a Lions Club or something. How the Lions Club used to set up these roadside stops. Here's a go. You see the Lions Club sign, which is really cool. I'll give myself a little stretch time. The like a hundred mile, over hundred miles from Beaver Dunes. So I'll give myself a car. It'll cool off a little bit, you know. All these grasshoppers, man, like, oh, like gross. It's a locust, and like grasshoppers, I'm like, what? Run, trying not to run over them, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> sometimes it happens, though, man. Got a hitchhiker right there. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, I had this little clip. <laughs> I think it's well maintained, though. That's weird. I'm behind a tree. <laughs> well, that's crazy. You've been traveling for a while and you get out of the car. It's like. It's like all you hear is like silence. It's weird. Your head's kind of like buzzing. Kind of like. You know. It's weird. You know, that kind of like real quiet feeling. Yeah. Cool though, it's really awesome. Yeah, notice there's like a. It might be a. 
touch what kind of nest that bird nest that is. I know it's like like maybe a swallow. I don't know, man. It's cool though. Kind of up there. <laughs> watching the uh, condensation from the air conditioning unit, the accumulator, and the adjacent tubing dripping off there. <laughs> On Wednesdays I'd like to have this car professionally painted, taking out the briars out of my socks, man, all these stickers and stuff. Uh, excuse me, whoa, that, that, was, that was a good one. Burp. Oh, it's like got sand on my ankles, man, and my legs from beaver dunes. Yep. I'm going to sit in the five or ten minutes and just get going again, man. Whew. I hope you enjoyed my, um, I return to Beaver Dune State Park. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, the last hundred miles, so I was like, I had to stop at several points, man, like in Sayre and around right Lake Luger and places like that, man. I, I prayed to the Father God, give me an energy boost, please. You know, like, he simply told the Holy Spirit, so we're talking about it. Turn down this one road and just like get a book. Well, we're gonna stop for a little bit right at these trees, right? I'll stop there and I'll just rest it. I close my eyes. I'll go, I can always tell I'm tired and I'll start going. And you get that little, like that little bit of air that's restrained in your body, like when you lay down at night sometimes. I don't know if y'all have this problem or not. Oh, or is that burp swallow? And it's like, well, it's not really a problem, I guess, but I'll lay there. After a few minutes, I mean, I'll be, I'll, I'll just lay there, and all of a sudden, like, this air just comes out. And we have, like, three, three, and we actually have three lung chambers. A lot of people think we have to have two big lungs. We've actually, like, three chambers per lung, so it's like, wow, it's a lot of pent -up, pent up energy in the air. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. You know, um... If you like the video, my videos, you know, subscribe, rate, you know, comment, keep your comments respectful. Treat me the way you'd like to be treated. You know, a little love goes a long way. Um, if y'all saw anything in the video that I didn't catch, um, let me know. And as always, most important, in the name of Christ Jesus the Lord, Everybody, I say, stay blessed, stay safe, stay healthy, stay at peace, love one another. I'm out. Peace.